Those trained in neurolinguistic programming have most certainly heard the phrase, the map is not the territory. This generally means that the models of the world that we use to filter our understanding of reality are not completely real. Still, NLP practitioners believe that once we modify our map, our experience of reality correspondingly changes. At the International Hypnosis Research Institute, we look at this concept in another way. This is especially true when it comes to considering the relationship between a person's brain and their body. Our brain is a tool that monitors and affects our physiological functioning. Thus, every organ has a corresponding neural system. That system can be considered as a map. For instance, when someone experiences phantom limb syndrome, it can be assumed logically that the brain's map has not adjusted to a person's loss of an appendage. On the other hand, we maintain that this also goes in the opposite direction. If a person touches a hot or cold item, there is a direct physiological change in their brain. But what if a neurological change affected a part of the body? Essentially, this is what happens when someone blushes. Therefore, this is probably why thoughts that are altered through the hypnosis process affect parts of the body. The use of suggestion and imagination to create behavioral and even physical changes has long been emphasized by trained and qualified clinical hypnotherapists as well as others who use hypnosis as an adjunct to their field. They have used traditional direct and permissive techniques as ways to create desired changes. Many of these methods are either a half a century or many centuries old. At the International Hypnosis Research Institute, we emphasize the mastery of these older techniques as a prerequisite. Then we add to them newer techniques which have been implied by modern science. The result is an enhanced human communication program called Advanced Neuronoetic Hypnosis. Despite the rich history, traditional hypnosis and related fields like Freudian psychoanalysis, theories and practices are basically over a half century old. Even popular ideas such as cognitive behavioral therapy are at best several decades old. ANH is based upon the latest thinking and research found in psychology, medicine, neurology, and physics. The underlying basis of ANH thus includes recent research, findings, and theory involved in neurology, theoretical physics, mind-body integration, and even artificial intelligence. When combined, the conceptual framework is called the neurology of suggestion. It carefully considers the impact of suggestion and imagination from a neurological standpoint. Practitioners who wish to learn these concepts are invited to enroll in the ANNH certification program, which is comprised of 12 separate distance learning courses and includes over 75 skills. Please note that these skills are not meant to replace your current approach, such as CBT. Rather, these skills are intended to make you more effective regardless of your preferred methods. I encourage you to enroll in our program today by visiting www.advanced-neuro-noetic-hypnosis.org or you may enroll in individual courses by visiting courses.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org. Of course, you are invited to support the Institute as a member as well as other benefits, our small membership fee includes one free course which may be applied to your ANH certification. Also, members receive substantial discounts on individual courses and the certification program. For more information, visit www.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org.